This is where I come to life. The wilderness is a part of me, and it is my responsibility to share the value of the wild. In the spring, I plan to ride 4,000 miles along the Pacific Crest Trail to the sacred headwaters of Canada. The expedition will take seven to eight months. Water is life. Without water, there would be no life. I look at our Earth as being Mother Earth. She brings forth the rivers that flow from the mountain tops, And through all of that, we have the beginning of life. The Sacred Headwaters is an area where, by an incredible accident of geography, three of the great salmon rivers of British Columbia are born. That country up there is sacred, and we're about to lose it. There are places to put mines and places really we shouldn't be putting mines. And to build a mine to me was rather like drilling for oil in the Sistine Chapel. If we don't get some kind of meaningful protected status, all our efforts will be for naught. And as you're making that journey, you will see how important every little living thing is. By documenting this expedition, I hope to share both the significance of sustaining a place like the Sacred Headwaters and my evolving relationships with my wild companions. My two rescued Mustangs, Suna, Jax, and my wolf dog, Nodin, and I have been preparing for the greatest ride of our lives. There was a little bit of buck in her at the beginning, but uh, she's kind of lost that. We're speeding up this process a little bit to get her ready by February. Her mom is a great asset to her and a supporter, and I see the love between them. I know she's capable. I know how she regards the wilderness. When you go on an expedition, there's an aspect of risk involved. A fall could mean death for me and my horses. I could have the misfortune of coming between a bear and its kill. I could get caught in an unexpected snowstorm or in a wildfire blaze. The fact that the journey is 4,000 miles is itself a daunting physical challenge. I'll be carrying all of my gear along the way, which means a ridiculous amount of packing and unpacking, all while enduring the strain of intense isolation. Although the risks are significant, I believe my team has the heart to see it through. She has to caretake these animals and their well-being is going to be number one to her because it's only with them that she's making this journey. My father and I had always planned on going on a journey together. He would introduce me to those magnificent mountains he climbed as a child. But when he was diagnosed with cancer, our plans changed. She was his first caretaker, very much knowing that he was gonna die. When he passed away, I went into the wilderness and climbed one of those mountains. I found a waterfall off a trail in the forest. I opened my palms and let his ashes go. A great feeling of freedom swept through me. On my way down, I remember following the streams that turned into rivers. Those rivers flowed into the dream of what ultimately became this journey. It is because of him. It is for him and it is who she is, and he will be with her on it. I am so proud of the journey you are taking, that spiritually I will travel with you. I'm honored that the guardians of the sacred headwaters are supporting me, and I feel that this support will be the guiding force that brings me to the end. I hope this ride can bring attention to the sacred headwaters and inspire protection not only for this pristine wilderness, but for the many other wild places that still remain. I'm stronger, I'm stronger than 